hello everyone in this video we will see how we can create a custom api using five minutes so in the project registration tool click on register new custom api and give a name of the api here let's say reverse return i want to reverse a string the raw string using a, a custom api so use a solution you have to use a solution to keep your custom api now this is the unique name which is created for the custom api so that we can use it whenever we call it right so at this moment assembly and plugin keep it blank and uh, so when we create a plugin we will associate later on so you can use spi plugin for now if you want because i have created a spi plugin later on i will show you how you can create a plugin and associate here in the custom api next add some request parameter here so give a name of the request parameter let's say raw string here uh, let's say raw s capital raw string which is type of uh, string data type or uh, raw string or raw word you can say whatever this will name you want to give then type you can choose string because i want to pass a string input parameter to this custom api and the uh, custom api will reverse the string and give me output now click a response parameter option here and uh, provide a display let's say reversed uh, string and use the name here reverse to string okay and click on add so i've created one request parameter which is called as raw string and a reverse parameter response parameter whose name is reverse string so just rename this as properly reverse string and update so my work is done i have created a custom api with a name and created one request parameter and response parameter now we have to create a plugin so that the plugin will be associated with this custom api and we can call it from power automate so click on the register so that it will be completed the custom api registration is done now go to your plugin code and write down a plugin simple code uh, use input parameter to read the input parameter from the custom api so i am using raw string so i use raw string here and the output par parameter i am using the reverse string so i can use reverse string name and copy here and i am using input dot reverse method to reverse the string and here i have to use the correct custom api name and uh, the input parameter and output parameter this is this is just a simple plugin okay so not you no need to worry about i am just taking the input parameter and reversing it and sending the output now build it build the plugin and uh, register in the plugin registration tool so in, in plugin registration tool uh, verify and uh, select the assembly and register the plugin assembly so it's the last plugin we have used and upgrade the selected plugin once it will success go to the custom api record um, that we have created so that we can associate this assembly and dll so click on the view by message so that we can identify our uh, custom api so if you scroll down you'll see new underscore reverse return this is the custom api we have created so open that and associate the assembly uh, whose, whose is our project name then the new plugin called as reverse plugin now click on update now our work is done so we are ready to test now so how to call this custom api we have created go to power automate and create an instant flow for now so in the instant flow we can pass an input parameter uh, let's say i want to pass a raw param raw string right which we need reverse so raw string and uh, add a new action by connecting dataverse called as perform unbound action so search here perform unbound action and click on perform an unbound action and choose the action name as new underscore reverse return now once you choose reverse return it will display here the name of the custom api now it will ask to provide the input parameter raw string so pass the input parameter which is passed in the button click so that is our uh, raw string now we are done so we can store the output parameter of the unbound action call or custom api call so let's take a compose step in the compose step i can assign the output parameter so click on compose and in the input input option associate new underscore reverse return response reverse string this is the output parameter of the plugin or custom api right 
and this output parameter of the custom API we have already assigned in the plugin. Now we are done. If you run it, uh, it will reverse the stream, right? So we have successfully created a plugin and a custom API configuration and called it from Power Automate within five minutes. So thank you everyone. Uh, try it and let me know if you find an issue. And uh, you can create your own business uh, need and implement in a custom API using plugin registration tool. There are many ways to create custom API, but this is one of the way. Thank you everyone. Bye. Thank you.